All right, so what we want to look at just with some examples is if I have something like 7 over x minus 2. So that is my rational function. And I want to start looking at the types of asymptotes I will have. So first of all, are there any vertical asymptotes? So a vertical asymptote is untouchable. And I will take my denominator, set it equal to 0, and I will solve. So I will find out that I have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. So what does that mean? My domain is everything but 2. Why? Because I've got a vertical asymptote at 2. So using a 2 will make this undefined. So you have an imaginary vertical line at x equals 2. What about a horizontal asymptote? Well, in this case, what I have is an x to the 0, which is 1, over an x to the 1st, minus 2. So I have an x to the 0 over an x to the 1st. So what does that look like? That's a small over a big. So what do you scream? You stop the world and scream y equals 0. So make sure while you are entering these or while you're noting these, your answer is not 2. Your answer is not 0. Your answer is x equals 2. And your answer is y equals 0. So it's very important to include those as equations because they are equations of lines. So let's try another one. What happens if I have something like f of x is 5 minus 6x over 2x plus 3? The first thing I want to do this is put the numerator in descending order. So watch your signs. I've got a negative 6x and a positive 5 over a 2x plus 3. So again, this is a rational equation or a rational function. And I know that because it's set equal to f of x. I want to know vertical first. So what is my vertical asymptote? My vertical asymptote is going to be found where my denominator equals 0. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides and then divide both sides by 2. So I have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 3 halves. And now I want to know about a horizontal asymptote. So I need to compare the degrees of my numerator and my denominator. So I notice up here my degree is a 1, and down here my degree is a 1. So I have a same over a same. So if I've got a same over a same, my asymptote for a horizontal asymptote is y equals the ratio of my lead coefficient. Good heavens to Betsy. My house is noisy. Okay, so, okay, hang on, silencing my phone. And praying my dog shut up. Okay, so what I have is y equals a negative 6 over 2. So my horizontal asymptote occurs at y equals negative 6 over 2, and that reduces to y equals a negative 3. So you have a horizontal asymptote at y equals negative 3. Now, if again, if it asks you for the equation of an oblique asymptote, we're not doing oblique. So if it asks you for a diagonal, horizontal, or sorry, diagonal, slant, or oblique, we're not doing those, okay? So again, we have another one where um, I have f of x equals uh, x squared minus 3x and then minus 4 over... 2x squared minus x minus 21. So I want to know about vertical, horizontal, and oblique. So for vertical, what do we do? We take our denominator and we set it equal to 0. So I've got a 2x squared minus an x minus 21 is 0. So I'm going to use uh, factoring by grouping. So a 2x squared times a negative 21 is a negative 42x squared. So I need two numbers that multiply to a negative 42x squared, but they add up to a negative x. My signs are different, so these are going to have different signs. So I've got a positive 6x 
and a negative 7x. So 6x minus 7x is a negative x. 6x times negative 7x is a negative 42x squared. So I'm going to trash that middle term. And I'm going to put in a positive 6x minus a 7x in its place. Do not simplify or you'll undo what you just did. And now I can look by grouping. So look at your first two. What's common? I can pull out a 2x. And that leaves me with x plus 3. Look at your last two. It's leading off negative. So whatever you do, pull out a negative. And I can pull out a 7. And that's going to leave me with x plus 3. So the common factor is x plus 3. And what's left is 2x minus 7. So now take each factor. So x plus 3 can be 0, or x is negative 3. So that's one vertical asymptote. Okay. Another vertical asymptote is the other factor. I'm going to add 7, and then I'm going to divide by 2. So I have two vertical asymptotes. One is at negative 3, and one is at 7 halves. Okay, two vertical asymptotes. And the way that you can enter that in, uh, depending on the problem type, is you could say negative 3 and, sorry, positive 7 halves. Just separate it with a comma. Okay, so the next part is going to say, what about horizontal asymptotes? So for horizontal, I need to look at and compare the degrees. So my degrees on this are an x squared over an x squared. So I've got same over same, which means my horizontal asymptote is the ratio of my lead coefficients. So my horizontal asymptote is y equals 1 half. And then again, are we doing slant, diagonal, or oblique? No, we're not. So if you get a question like that, um, do not try and answer it because I didn't teach you how to do that. All right, so I'm going to come back with another video, and we actually, hang on. Are we going to do that? I want to see if, yeah. Okay, so we'll come back and we'll do another video, and that's going to be one where I write all over my screen. So I'll see you in the, la or in the last one.